I'm Alison Tandry of DIY Salvation. If you're a member of the Church of Scientology, or know someone who is, I recommend you, or they watch this video presentation, as there is a very real threat to the Scientology religion I want everyone on all sides to be aware of. It's not an attack from CNN, a disaffected former executive, the FBI, IRS, or even the courts. It's your religion being undermined right at your Class 5 org, right in your course room, and in your HGCs. While Mike Rinder was still a part of the church, being the responsible Scientologist he was, he pointed out the many flaws in the survival rundown and was told that you just have to trust COB, the chairman of the board, namely David Miscavige, by four separate staff members he brought his objections to. I guess that trust COB is now KSW point number 11. I have my own take on it, which I'll summarize by pointing out what I've spotted just by looking at the table of contents and lightly perusing the course pack. The policy letter, keeping Scientology working, is missing from the pack. The omission alone is a violation of that policy letter. I then zeroed in on the section entitled The Instructor's Code. As I suspected, this is actually an adaptation of the Course Supervisor's Code just with a different name. To keep this video from being too terribly long, I'll just stick to the two alterations that madden me the most. The first one is supposed to read, the supervisor must never neglect an opportunity to direct a student to the actual source of Scientology data. During my training, whenever anyone, the supervisor included, would make any statement about Scientology technology, the response was always, 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 show me the reference. In the survival rundown course pack, that line reads, the instructor should never neglect an opportunity to evaluate for a student about Scientology. So now instead of the student being encouraged to challenge every statement the instructor makes about Scientology technology, we have the instructor encouraged to enforce his own evaluations on him. If a course supervisor did that when I trained, he'd be removed from the academy or at the very least sent to cramming. You teach Scientology by quoting L. Ron Hubbard, not with your own evaluations. Point number two on this page reads, the supervisor should invalidate a student's mistake ruthlessly. The original point number two of the course supervisor's code reads, the supervisor should invalidate a student's mistake ruthlessly and use good ARC while doing it. That makes more sense, doesn't it? You point out errors with a vengeance, but you are polite and professional while doing so. I can only imagine all the arguments and upsets in a course room where students are encouraged to make evaluations for each other about Scientology and ruthlessly invalidate mistakes without also advising them to do such with ARC. They might as well fit the students with boxing gloves before entering. As I look further, I note that TR0 bull bait is missing entirely. That's right. Missing. It's the drill where one student tries to push another's buttons by doing and saying distracting things while the other must sit still and do nothing, paying full attention to all of it. This drill is so important and so well known that there's even a great deal of non-scientologists out there who know about it, by virtue of how much criticism it gets outside of the church. No matter what the critics say, you can't lose your cool during such a session if you're an auditor. It is absolutely essential to effective auditing sessions that every auditor trained passes this drill or you end up with auditors that may start fighting with their pre-clears, or just wimp out at the first sign of hostility. It takes some bravery to be an auditor, and this drill helps you to develop that. As a person receiving auditing, I would never permit someone to audit me if they never passed on this drill, TR0 bull bait. Scientology just isn't Scientology anymore without it. Like I said before, this is not a complete list of everything wrong with the survival rundown course pack. But it's enough that if I were still a course supervisor, and it came across my desk, as I would leave the org never to return, on my way out I would tell my students to ask for a refund, as they paid for standard Scientology, and they are most certainly aren't going to be getting it. This is David Miscavige's Scientology, not L. Ron Hubbard's. But let's look at the other side of this for a moment. L. Ron Hubbard is dead. David Miscavige, for all intents and purposes now owns Scientology and can do whatever he wants with it. He can rewrite the books and courses. 
he can restructure the organization. He could require Scientologists to greet each other with a secret handshake. It would just make more sense to me if he'd have the decency to put his name on the books and courses so that members of the Church of Scientology would know whose tech they were practicing. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.